Hey what's up guys my name is Norbert and this is Blaze on Tech. This video is about the Windows 10 Fall Creators update. Uh, by the time you're watching this the update has been downloaded by over 20% of all computers running Windows 10 already so chances are you already have it but I still felt like I needed to make a video to just go through what's new and the five most noteworthy features that were added. One of the features is mixed reality. Essentially right now in the world there's there's two categories of companies when it comes to them predicting what you would like in the future. We have on one hand Google, Facebook and the rest gunning for VR and on the other side you have Apple doing AR. Microsoft has However, has decided to go a third route and they're calling it MR or mixed reality. It's essentially a platform where you can have both VR and AR in one neat package ideally. But for now there's still no AR in the MR so for now any any MR headset you can buy will only feature the VR, the VR features but I hope in the future in the near future they will have developed it fully and I'm excited to see what it looks like. Next up we have OneDrive On Demand. Essentially, it's the, they've made it easier for you to access your, your stuff that is on the cloud. In an instant, you can have your files when you want them. You can select which files you, you want to have stored locally or you can just click the file that is on the cloud and you'd have it instantly just like it would be, just like you would if it was on your computer. And number three, we have phone linking. Microsoft's answer or would be answer to Apple's airdrop. If you're in the Apple ecosystem you know how convenient it is to transfer files between your iPad and your Mac and your iPhone so Microsoft has come up with this solution whereby you link your phone to your computer and then you can continue browsing from your computer say you were on your phone and then now you've reached your desktop you can continue browsing on your computer pick up where you left off but it doesn't work as well as Chrome does when it comes to continuing where you left off it's between your phone and phone and computer you can't even share files as you would with AirDrop at this point in time it seems just like an excuse to make you download the Microsoft launcher which I'll also have a review of coming up later. And number four, we have 3D Paint and Remix 3D. When when Windows 10 first launched, there's this 3D Builder app where you could build these preset objects and do whatever you wanted with them. But I couldn't really see a reason to use it since I didn't even have a 3D printer. Still don't. With this with this new 3D Paint app, you do a lot of what you would do with the normal paint, but with 3D objects added now. Old paint is still around for those of you who were worried. I, it's still it's still there there were rumors a few months back that paint would get the axe they've kept it along with paint 3d and then there's also now remix uh, 3d where you can upload your creations or download your creations to an, a community online i don't know where it will go i'll just be watching it anyways it's a four creators update so why not this might be the four creators update a lot of Windows' dominance comes from gaming. All you can do on a Windows, you can do on a Mac as well or even better. You can launch Android Studio faster on a Mac. You can edit videos faster on a Mac. You can do pretty much everything else faster on a Mac except for playing games. Mac sucks at playing games. So this is this is Windows' selling point. And in that sense, they haven't forgotten the gamers. They, they've added quite a few features for gamers. The original game bar is still there but they've added features like game DVR where you can record uh, clips or take screenshots easier we have broadcasting uh, instead of using a third-party program to broadcast your game all that all that functionality is baked in to Windows another another feature they've added is true play true play is kind of like a referee for online gamers uh, it will it'll detect it uses special uh, smart algorithms to detect if cheating is occurring and then it will, it will alert the other players that cheating is happening this five way in gaming now another feature we have is game mode okay there's a lot of programs out there that claim to boost your gaming experience but essentially what they're doing is closing other tasks in the background and changing changing the power settings of your computer with game mode built in you can you can essentially start it with a single key combination uh, key, keyboard shortcut you can do it with a single keyboard shortcut and what it does is it prioritizes the game it, it will it will divert as much of its resources your processing power and your graphics processing power all to divert it towards the game 
to enhance your experience does it work i don't know yet i haven't had a chance to test all these out because of hardware limitations i.e my laptop sucks but hey if it works for you please let me know in the comments finally there's also a bunch of other features we have a new nightlight mode which filters blue light from your screen so that it doesn't give you as much eye strain at night. We have one click hotspot so you don't have to go through CMD to create a Wi-Fi hotspot. You could use it as a Wi-Fi repeater in situations where your Wi-Fi doesn't reach where you are but you have a computer in between you and that router that could help with one click. We, we also have uh, features to security they've added a whole host of features that they claim will protect you better from ransomware there you have it uh windows 4 creators update top 5 thank you guys for watching we're trying to hit 5k subscribers by the end of the month yes it's not too late for you to complete your new year's resolutions still gunning for it so please if you haven't sub subscribed already please do so in the link below i'll be talking to you guys in the next video Bye.